guys. Good morning. People everywhere, wherever, wherever, wherever. Gotta say, those uh, locking hubs are a definite must for any non-manual locking hub four-wheel drive truck. Okay, a couple things. Went to the swap meet. Ended up uh, purchasing some vents, some Vic ducting vents. Got one at five bucks a piece. He had like 10 of them. Told him I'll buy two for five bucks. And he says, okay, two for five bucks. So I bought those. Don't have them because they're in the house. Because I'm going to swap them because some of ours, the uh, where the little slats are, the paint's coming off. And they look like they're rusted because we have swamp cooler. So then I went to another dude. Bought some more punches. American punches. And then I went to another dude. Bought a 13 millimeter socket. Cause in the quarter inch drive. Cause I have 12 and 14 and now I got 13. Um fits on there kind of tight. I have to break. Got that. The punches I paid five bucks for. They're all uh American made in America. Made in USA. So and uh when I went to the junkyard I ended up using these. So they came in handy. Handy dandy. So Trying to buy some older American punches because these punches that I bought that are, I don't know where they're made, but they ain't made, they're not made like they should. This one says made in USA, things all bent. So those are junk, the newer stuff's junk, so I've been buying older stuff. And, uh, Found this 14 millimeter at the junkyard. It's a Pittsburgh, but I already have a 14, so and it'll probably break. So throw it up there. So I also bought these brake pads because I'm like, oh, EBC brake pads. How much does he want? So I bought brake pads. And I bought a set of uh, tractor keys, like Cat, Case, John Deere's, like three John Deere keys, um, two Cat keys, different different keys, and uh, the brake pads. I bought them for both items for ten bucks. Brake pads and keys, and uh, I figured I'd be able to just sell them online, no big deal. Then I looked up the part number. This uh, 31610C, and uh, they're actually on AutoZone. They're $105 for a set. And, oh boy, oh boy, they actually fit the Acura. So I went on. I just typed in EBC, blah, 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 and I went on AutoZone's website and uh, just checked to see what they fit. And it showed it fit Hondas and Acuras. And uh, I was like, oh, that's cool. So they actually fit her car because I was just going to sell them. But since they fit her car, let's see what this... Gotta see what this Dodge is. He came by earlier, revving it up. An old first gen. First gen dually, huh? There you go, kid. Not the only one. So, as you can see, 
Same brake pads. Same everything. Um, but yeah. So for 10 bucks, bought some keys and some $100 brake pads. That we'll use on the wife's car eventually when her brake pads go out. So then I went to the junkyard and found a compressor, but the compressor said uh, 10S15C something or other. And I was like, well, it's the same, same make, same bolts, should be the same. Uh, I was under the impression that the 10S, that 10S was the same. And uh, so I took the snout, ended up taking it apart, got the snout because the other one is bad. Well, it turns out, I don't know if you guys see a difference or not. There's mounting hardware on that one. So that's now it's not gonna work. Got the bolts. I was like, sweet, got bolts. And bolts aren't the right size either. So anyway, I gotta figure out figure out some bolts. Um I did find another one. Uh another one, but it was it's completely different. It's got three screws that hold the magnet on. Um just just way different. It was a uh uh whatever that number is, a 10S. I think it was a 10S13 something. And I was like, no, it's not gonna work because it didn't have um it didn't have this this type of C clip. Actually the C clip that it had is right here. For the pulley, it had a C clip instead of this wavy C clip. And then when I got the pulley off, uh, inside here, instead of this C clip, it was three screws. So, way different. And I uh, ended up getting a new windshield washer tank or used, whatever you want to call it. It's not all brittle. So, it's still pliable. So that can go into project crack pipe. Um, but anyway, so that's my uh, Sunday shopping haul. Um, I did forget to bring a GoPro Glenn. Um, but uh, next next go around, I'll bring a GoPro. But all right, guys, that's gonna be it. I gotta clean up. I gotta do some. Uh, I gotta eat some food. Clean up some tools. I gotta put tools back in my truck that I took out that I needed. Um, I did pay $20 for this and that with the bolts. Um, but I think this alone with the motor, I'm just uh, telling myself this, but I think that's worth it. So, anyway guys, tell me guys what you, tell me what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do. If you own a uh, Dodge or a Chevy, go buy yourself some manual locking hubs or some free spin hubs, as they call them, because uh, they they work really good, really well. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. See you guys on the next video. Maybe I can do a uh, swap meet series video. I don't really want to, because I don't really buy that much, but maybe I can. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Later.